Sporting Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Manga Nerdigan Live Reaction video is going to be for Tengen Omega Chapter 80. So, um, last chapter we saw uh, my boy Misasa use the um, Silet style, which is lots of lots of elbows, but it's not as like hard as some of the other styles that we've been seeing. It's a lot softer. And I really, really love how um, Deramion reflected that in the art. I thought that was so brilliant. And speaking of the art, I actually tweeted Deramion about um, the panel I really liked, which was that um, extreme close-up of Yumi, uh, Yumigahama's uh, eye with that image of uh, Misasa in the iris. And I asked him how long it took for him to draw that, especially in comparison to the other um, manga panels. And he said it barely took, he spent barely any time on that. And that there were other panels he spent a shit ton of time on. And like thinking back on it, it's like, oh yeah, I, I could see that. <laughs> um, it makes me wonder, um, which pan, you know, which ones he spent more time on, which it was it the ones where we saw, you know, the mixture of genres of art, the, uh, which is, was, uh, was it the texturized ones? I'm really curious. Um, and I asked him that he didn't respond to me in regards to that, but, um, if you guys have any questions for Dare on that you want me to ask him, let me know in the comment section, cause he does follow me on Twitter and I'll ask him for you, see if he responds. But anyway, um, we actually also found out that um, this is some personal shit that Misasa is dealing with here. Um, I mean, personal business. And that's because um, the person that um, Yumi Kahama uh, killed was one of Misasa's subordinates. So yeah, this is some personal, personal business. So let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us uh, um, today. ki Daryl me on this movement is freaking gorge gorge look at that flow look at that oh my god that dodge is just this is just beautiful art oh my god this chapter is titled sympathy for the scoundrel oh yeah um Misasa didn't get away from that unscathed Woo! Daryl me on. Like, I swear to God, as I, um, and this is why I tweeted back to Daryl me on. I said, I swear, Daryl me on, your art gets better, like, every week. It really does. Daryl me on, your art has come light years. Um, like, I'm gonna say this to infinity and beyond from, uh, what we saw in, um, in Kang and Ashura. Oh my God, this art is just incredible. Look how fluid this is. This is so beautiful, and I will say this, the anatomical art is so much better this week. It really is, because that was some, and um, maybe even a little bit better than the week before, because there was some anatomical issues I was kind of having. Um, they were minor issues that I was having with the anatomical art. Um, but man, oh, this looks so much better. Yay! Ooh, Ooh look at that block. Ooh, that movement in the elbow. Oh my God. That looks so beautiful. And the other thing that's great uh, that I have to point out about, um, about the art is that the line, how this line work is being done, because remember they are going really, really fast. This is a battle of pure speed. We are going fucking fast as hell. We're going faster than uh, the speed of sound at this point. <laughs> Uh, the line work is really reflecting it too, and it, um, the, how uh, um, Deramion has gotten it has gotten the lines in the background too to reflect how fast they're going as well is just really nice. Oh my god, Chiai! Yeah, you ain't you ain't gonna beat him. You ain't beating him. You ain't gonna beat him, um, Yamagahama. He's not landing any hits. Does he have his moves figured out? You should have finished him off with the first with that first strike. Quick draws don't work if your opponent sees them coming. Well, duh. Yay! Ooh, God. Yami Gahama is mad. Ooh. Ooh, look at that quick. Dude, that was fast. 
you could see how fast it was. Look at that. I love it. I love how, again, you can see how fast the movements are. It's just incredible. Oh my God, that detailing is really hard to do. Holy shit. He's quick. He's one step ahead of Yumi Kahama. Well, duh. He's strong. Well, yeah. Misasa excels at fighting in tight spaces. He's turned a smaller uh, build into an advantage. Well, yeah, you kind of have to. Look, Pakatsuki, um, Misasa is carefully aiming for Yumi Kahama's vitals. Uh, Misasa has cultivated the skill it takes to bring down opponents with bigger builds. Uh, with bigger builds and with his um, movement restricted and um, and nothing in his arsenal but simplistic attacks, Yumi Kahama has no way to defend himself. Hell no! And look at that art. Oh, and there there it is. There's that silent shit. And I love again. I love that we can see how um, the silent is being used in, in the art. It is just incredible. This is so beautiful, Daramion. Size doesn't make a difference. All it takes is a little ingenuity. Damn straight. Damn fucking straight. And we've seen it before. We've seen it in Dragon Ball especially. And Yu Yu Hakusho and, uh, and Hunter Hunter and all that. But anyway. Yay! That fucking itches. You're really getting on my damn, uh, goddamn nerves. I'm a style, uh, Kempo. Ooh. Woo, dare me on this background, man, is, I'm living for it. I love the smoke that's coming off, or the sm smoke slash the steam and the sweat. Ah, love it. Oh, so you do, <laughs> so, so you do know some proper martial arts after all. You want to keep me from getting in close, huh? Well, too bad. Ooh, that movement is beautiful. And that sweat. Mm, I love how we're seeing the sweat just like come off the body. It's just really nice. Oh, God. It's beautiful. Woo! This panel is just... Mm, yeah! Woo! And, oh, look how much smaller... Now we're seeing how much smaller the ring is. We really are. We didn't... We haven't really seen it at this point in the chapter, I don't think. Hold on. Let me see if I'm wrong about that. Well, to an extent, we could see how much smaller it is. Yeah, we could from this close from the close up. Um, we could see how much smaller it is, but we couldn't from uh, the close up. But not um, from uh, not zoomed out. There we go. Now we can. And now he's showing off a whole range of kicks. Talk about a human weapon. Does he have an infinite arsenal? He he par he parried it. Yeah, dude, this panel is looking nice. I, I gotta say, Daramion, I think this is, this is really good art. This is fantastic. Let's end this. He was waiting for, ooh, he was waiting for the coup de grace. This panel. Oh my God. The movement, the contrasting, the sinisterness. Love, love, love. Yumi Gahama was going for a grapple. Uh-uh, it ain't gonna work. However, Misasa's son is coming. <laughs> Misasa's counter is just great. The art is just great. Dude, look at my man. Look at my man's back. This, this anatomical art is fantastic. <gasps> Woo! Dude, look at the ripples from where the thumb is where the thumb hits uh, the cheeks. Dude, Daryl me on them ripples, man. Yeah. Um, temporal, uh, wait. Temporal, um, yeah. Temporal, um, mandibular joint dislocated. Ooh. Ooh, damn. So we got the temporal man, uh, mandibular joint dislocated, and I love, love this anatomical art. This is the shit that I love. This is the shit that I love from Daryl Mion and, Ken and, Ken Gnome and the Kengan Sears. I love when we see the anatomical art like this. I love how we're seeing it affects the, uh, affect the body. And I love, um, in the terms of the joint, I love that we're seeing the line, the, um, how, uh, where in the, in the skull it affects, like, line-wise. It's just, oh, this is just heaven. 
oh, this is so beautiful. And, and we're seeing it, like, going down through the body. Oh, this is beautiful. Ah, did he just dislocate his jaw? Damn straight he did. Ooh! Oh, and then we got that... Oh, and we're seeing it affect the spine. Oh, my God. Daryl Mion, this is beautiful. Oh, we got... Uh, when, let's just go like that, and we're seeing the spine. This is what I like. This is what more fighting manga needs to do. And I'm not going to lie. Um, Hajime no Ippo is starting to... It, Hajime no Ippo has been doing it, but... Um, We've been really starting to see it more in Hajime no Ippo as of late. And it's just been... what I'm going to say this about Hajime no Ippo. What, um, and I don't know if Morikawa got inspired by what Daryl Mion's doing or what. But what Morikawa is doing in Hajime no Ippo as of late is just fucking incredible. Oh my god, if you have not taken the Hajime no Ippo challenge... There, it's over uh, 1,300 chapters now. I did the Hajime no Ippo challenge when it was at, um, it was just barely over 1,200 chapters at the time. Yeah, it was a little over 1,200 chapters at the time. It's really worth it. It really fucking is. That manga is as old as I am, and I love that manga. And what Morikawa is doing with that art is just incredible. And you guys should be, if you like fighting manga, Go read Hajime no Ippo. It's really good. And obviously you like fighting manga because you're reading Kengen. Ooh, man. Misasa is just whooping this motherfucker. Look at this shit. Dear me on. You are giving me a good conclusion. This is what I wanted. Yeah. Ooh. I said something that I said that I wanted. I said I wanted a better looking conclusion than what we got um, from the uh, past few fights. Because the past few fights we've gotten like really meh conclusion art. But man, this is beautiful. This is what I wanted. Look at that fuck. Look at that fuck. He got... Daryl you did not let me down. You did not let me down. He's down. Yumi Kahama's down. Will the ref start the count? Um, it's over. He's been deemed incapacitated. The ref has stopped the match. That's a fit of fate for a traitor like you. I don't want to ever see you. I, I don't ever want to see you again. Go spend the rest of your life hiding in the shadows. Yes. Yes. The winner of the show between the current and former Fang, uh, Fangs of Mitsudo is Bisasa. This final page is badass. It is everything, and it is freaking fine as hell. That oh my god, Daryl Mion, you did my you did my man justice. You did my new husbando justice. Yes, he this man is my husbando. Okay, he is my husbando. You made Misasa my husbando, Daryl Mion. That is how that is how much I love this man now. Oh my god, this chapter was what I wanted from Daryl Mion in terms of art. This art is incredible. I am very, very happy, very, very happy with this because as I was saying, um, something that I've been having a problem with in terms of, um, art for conclusion fights, uh, for the conclusions of, uh, fights so far is it's been very, like, it's been very meh. Um, well, I'm not saying it's bad, um, but like compared to what we've, what we've seen from Daromion, it's been very, it's, it's like a step down. It's like, huh? Like, for example, the, uh, Julius, uh, Toa fight, the chapter before that, um, uh, before the, uh, conclusion of the fight, it was epic as fuck. And then the chapter, um, for the final chapter of that, you know, for, for that fight, it was just like, it was, it was a step down. It was like, what the fuck was this? Huh? And then, um, I, I will say the Rido one was okay. The Rido one was, was decent, and, and the Carlos one was, the Carlos one was okay. This was, this is what I want. I want more of this, Daryl Mion. Give me more of this art. I want this. You need to be more consistent with this art. So, now that the fight's over, let me give you my thoughts about this fight as a whole. This fight was epic as hell. I really loved this fight from start to finish. 
I really do. Um, because remember the overall theme in terms of art um, was uh, was contrasting um, and to an extent it was well it was contrasting it was speed and um, it was also um, hard and soft too so texture hard and soft um, based on the fighting style and I really think Daramion succeeded Daramion did a fantastic job with this art I really really enjoyed the, this fight. I think out of all of um, the fights so far, I think the one where, this is the one where Dermion succeeded in being consistent the whole time, where the art was consistently just fantastic. Yes, there was a couple, I would say there was a couple of panels here and there where the anatomical art was a little bit questionable, but for the most part, everything was just so freaking on point. That it's like I can maybe give it a pass. It's just me being a little stingy, but man, this conclusion was badass as hell. I love, love this art, Daramion. You are blowing me away. I am so fucking happy with this art. Um, in terms of writing, Sandrovich, I love what you're doing with this writing. This writing is fantastic. I really do. I love this twist um, about. Um, uh, Yumi Gahama, um, uh, about, you know, the person that Yumi Gahama, uh, one of the people Yumi Gahama attacked was, uh, um, Sasa's, um, uh, subordinates. I really like that. Um, but there's one other thing I gotta say, um, about, uh, oh my god, what was it? I was thinking about the art. There was one other thing. God, I can't, man, I gotta move the freaking go up a page, cause man, that panel of that page of Misasa is just god it's making me thirsty he's freaking i can't help it the man's fine um the thing that i want is the thing that made this fight amazing for me and this is why i think this is overall the best looking fight is that um that final punch from Misasa was epic as fuck between the dislocation of the joint and that punch Oh, and don't get me wrong, that right the stuff we saw in that Rhino Falcon fight was just incredible. Like, it, it's going to be hard. Th that Falcon Rhino fight was just epic as fuck for different reasons. It, it really was. But that punch, man, that, oh, that punch, and um, and that freaking punch, and seeing um, Yumi Gahama's face, like, completely smashed in like that, that was just perfection. That was perfection. My God. That's why it's... I gotta say, this has got to be the best conclusion of a fight so far that we've gotten. It's between this and um, the Falcon uh, Rhino one, where, because that freaking stab where we saw like the poison affecting the nerves was pretty goddamn cool, too. But, man, I think this one's got to be. I'm really curious what you guys think. Um, I really love this fight. I really fucking love Misasa. He is my husbando. He's my man. I love him. Daryl Mion, please, please keep this up. I want more. I want more. More of this. Um, more of this fantastic art. Um, I'm really curious what's going to happen now because Yumi Gahama is out. He ain't coming back. He's done. There's no way he's going to be fighting anymore. Um, so what is that going to mean now for, um, for the former things? A former thing of Mitsudo. Very curious. Like, I'm very curious what the fights are going to be now. Going to be like now. Like, Sandrovich has made it very, very difficult. This is... Sandrovich has made it very interesting. You know what? This chapter has made it very, very interesting. He has. He's made it very interesting for what's to come. Oh, yes. Because, um... Because I thought, like, we had shit, like, kind of set... Uh, kind of set up, but... Oh, not anymore. Now that Yumi Gahama's out. Shit's different. It is. I'm very curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this uh, channel alive so I can keep bringing you more um, uh, Kangen content, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.